So later in the show, from search and rescue to housing and to financial assistance, a closer look at the federal response to the disaster in Hawaii. Well, California is sending 100 members of Cal Fire and Cal OES to Maui to help in wildfire response efforts. We will stay for as long as is needed. We are, you know, we understand just how challenging this could be. Right? And so this is a complex scene. And so if we need to be there for weeks or months, we will be. And, you know, our governor has made a very strong commitment that, um, you know, just as we receive help during our time of need, we will be there for our neighbors. And local groups are bringing communities together to support Maui on its long road to recovery. CBS 13's Tori Apodoc is at the Port of West Sacramento with how you can help. That's right. Right now, the Longshoremen's Union is collecting donations to send to Maui. They have been out here all afternoon and have had a really great turnout. I was just speaking with the organizer here, and he says they're still in big need of wheelchairs, walkers, lights, batteries, food and water, and a lot of other supplies. He says right now they've gotten so many clothes donations that it, that isn't what they quite are looking for anymore at this point, and they will be out here until it is dark. But this isn't the only local effort. Salvation Army was out on Capitol Mall doing the same earlier today. Thank you for your donation. Their whole hometown and all the memories that went with it, where their parents fell in love, where their grandparents used to take them to stores, uh, all of that completely gone. The Salvation Army raising funds on the mainland to send directly to Maui fire victims. I've been to Hawaii, love the island, and my heart just went out to um, the people that live there. Henrietta Washington. Thank you adding some dollars to the red kettle. I think any any thing I can do to help. The Salvation Army has been on Maui for 130 years. Three of its four buildings on the island burned to the ground in the fire. The volunteers trained to help in crisis now caring for those in their own community. We have these people who are in experiencing a lot of trauma on all they can do is their duty is to help other people who are going through that same trauma. Salvation Army incident management teams and every dollar donated. Thank you very much. Thank you. Heading to Hawaii to help. Providing food, emotional, spiritual care, hygiene, anything we can to get out there to provide it shelters. Now the Salvation Army will be out again tomorrow at Cesar Chavez Park between 10 to 1, so you still have an opportunity to donate with them. And as far as this group that's out at the Port of West Sacramento, they originally were planning on just being out here until 6, but because of just the amount of people that have been showing up to support Maui, they are planning on being out here until dark, so you do still have some time to come on down here. All right. Thank you so much, Tori. Well, CBS 13 and Good Day Sacramento have teamed up with the Red Cross to help wildfire victims on Maui. If you'd like to make a donation, visit our Red Cross page by scanning the QR code right there on your screen or go to CBS13.com and click on the link at the top of the page.